rusty. My name is Nicole Hernandez, and I'm from Washington Heights, uptown New York, um, and I now live in Bushwick. I am a professional makeup artist, uh, mostly working in production and film. My favorite part about being a makeup artist is <laughs> just getting to change people's look every day. You know, whether it's making someone look glamorous or turning someone into a zombie or, you know, making someone look like they have no makeup on or, you know, slitting someone's throat. I think it's all fascinating and so much fun. I remember when I, I used to work in a vegan restaurant a few years ago and even though I asked for the day off very far in advance, they didn't give me Halloween day off. And of course I had a night shift, so I also could not go to the parade, but I decided I still kind of wanted to have fun anyway. So I bought some tubes of cream uh, body paint and I body painted myself head to toe in skeleton makeup. Um, but I was doing this while I was at work, so I was also serving veggie burgers <laughs> and painting myself as a skeleton at the same time. I went to school at the Makeup Forever Academy in Soho, which is downtown New York City. I had some savings, uh, and my mom very lovingly put some in of her own, and then we took out a loan, because uh, school was quite expensive, it was uh, like $13,000 or something. The price actually recently went up, so I went to school at the right time. Everything goes into consideration. Products my time, uh, my expertise and my knowledge, traveling, if I have to take an Uber, even trains, that still costs you money, obviously. $120 a month for a metro card is a lot of money. Um, my, you know, pre-production, you know, sometimes you have to make prosthetics ahead of time. Sometimes you gotta go out and buy a new product because they want something really specific. You know, the, the, disposables like q-tips and those lip wands and stuff that stuff costs money too it's not cheap regular q-tip a pointy q-tip a tiny round q-tip and an even tinier q-tip with a point on one end like all this stuff costs money man this stuff ain't free in general i love it um i would not want to do anything else i love film whether it's indie film, whether it's a short film, whether it's a feature film, whether it's any production, commercials, music videos, I love it all. Um, it can be hectic, and it can be very tiring, uh, but yeah, it's what I like. Production work in general can be very, uh, I don't know what the word I'm looking for is, like, like, no bullshit, you know? You, you gotta work. If you wanna do it, you gotta work. You gotta look for the work. We're all freelancers. We're all trying to make money. And if you're not gonna take the job, someone else will. So, it's not really what I expect from it so much as what I'm gonna make for myself. I worked on this short film. And I had to create a monster. And it was very challenging because it was full body prosthetics. Uh, bald cap, body painting, um, lots and lots of uh, little things that all came together to be beautiful. But it was challenging because I had to have two assistants and um, it was full body. And it was, I think total, we did like 18 hours. Yeah, it was a long shoot. I obviously let my assistants go at the 12 hour mark. Don't give up. It's really hard and people are not nice. And actually people are assholes. But you can't give up. Don't let it get to you. Don't get discouraged. Don't take it personally. Ser don't. Don't take it personally. Because it's not about you. It's not you. It's not your makeup. It's just that different people have different opinions and... You know, if you're getting paid to do a job, you gotta, you gotta do it. <laughs> hmm.